Hi friends, in the second part of the active low pass filter analysis, I will talk about active low pass filter boat plot analysis using Siglent SDS2102X plus oscilloscope. Some people also call this body plot. Both of them are correct. You can call it whatever you like, boat plot or body plot. Anyway, uh, this is our filter. The value of the resistor, resistor is 22 ohm and the value of the capacitor is 10 microfarad. I have selected LM358 for the op amp and I have provided both positive and negative rails for the op amp because the input waveform uh, contains both positive and negative elements. So I have to provide both positive and negative rails. O otherwise the output waveform would be cut off something like, would be something like this. So you have to provide both rays. The cutoff frequency of this filter is around 724 hertz. So this is the value for the uh, simulation or theoretical words. Uh, of course, we would see some differences in practice. Uh, however, there are not many devices can calculate this boat plot for us. So let's see how it will perform in practice and what would be the cutoff frequency of this filter in practice. So I will use this oscilloscope for drawing the boat plot. So let's go to the test bench and check the filter's behavior in practice. Just stay tuned. Okay friends, welcome to the test bench. Everything is on the table. It looks a bit messy. Uh, I had to decrease the exposure of the camera because the screen of the instruments are bright. Anyway, this is our filter. It's okay to test such a filter on a breadboard, on a breadboard because the operation frequency of the filter is low. So it's okay, you can test this such things on a breadboard. Uh, this power supply provides both positive, positive and negative rays for the circuit. If you want to build one of these, you can check my previous videos, videos and articles. Uh, the output of the power supply are very low noise, especially for such a low current applications. So as I mentioned before, I used this Siglent SDS2102X Plus oscilloscope to uh, to capture the boat plot and this oscilloscope is connected to the Siglent SDG1025 waveform generator using this USB cable. So these two devices communicate with each other using a USB connection. Uh, in the next section I will move the camera forward and I will just capture the oscilloscope screen to show you the boat plot correctly. All right, now we are ready to calculate the boat plot for this filter. So I set time stand for both probes and the input coupling for both channels are identical. Then I press the analysis menu and then boat plot here. So there we go. As we expect, the X axis is frequency and the Y axis is amplitude in dB. Let's go to the configure section. So it says DUT or filters input is channel 1 or the DUT output or, or filters output is channel 2 which is already correct and the connection interface it means the connection between the oscilloscope and the waveform generator is USB it's correct. Let's press test and it says it says successful. Uh, sweep type simple which we like that and the frequency mode linear is okay and the frequency center and span I should increase the span because we know the cutoff frequency of this filter is around 720 Hertz so this span would be okay for this filter number of points 50 Amplitude 1 volts is fine. We don't need offset. Amplitude you need, you need volt peak to peak. And the load. Because I didn't use any 
50 ohm terminator because of the low frequency so I set this on high Z like this if you use uh, the 50 ohm terminator then you should go to 50 ohm like here you see that okay high Z and then the configuration is done let's go to the display and amplitude do you see that the mode this one should be V out divided by V in and the axis type should be logarithmic like the one I set already um, so I think we are ready to run the operation there we go this oscilloscope is quite fast so although the process is heavy, however, we don't need to wait for a long time for this plot plot to be finished and plotted on the screen. Do you see that? As it says the red one or pink one is amplitude and the green one is phase. Do you see that the oscilloscope automatically adjusts the X and Y axis? And there we go. After it finishes the calculation and uh, the calculations, it starts to recalculate the points again. Uh, you see that these dots, these moving dots, uh, it means it's it's going to recalculate the points again so we don't need that so I just stop the operation so this is our boat plot we have several uh, features here data uh, here is the list and this is our 50 point do you remember the 50 points so the, this is the first one and it goes to you see that very nice actually goes to goes to 50 fantastic really if you don't like the touch you can press here and play it with this screw you see that if somebody doesn't like the touch he can scroll like that so you can check and move between these points and examine your filter let me turn off the list and come here and show you the cursors so the cursor determine let me turn on the cursor and this is the x cursors and that one was so this is x and this one is y okay let's play with the x this is this cursor both of them or this cursor and there are a lot of uh, tools that you can examine the both plots uh, here the data you can save the data I forgot to tell that you can save the data here and there is another nice feature here uh, let me create it. these are the cutoff frequency of the filters mainly uh, this one applies to us upper cutoff frequency because this is a low pass filter so let me enable that and do you see that we can see the calculation or measurement results at the bottom at the bottom of the screen it says the cutoff frequency of this filter is around 761 
hurts. So everything is on the table. Really nice feature for this oscilloscope. So you don't need to worry about something. Just you can you can just test your filter in practice, and then build your PCB because you know how your how your filter would operate in real world or in practice. Anyway, uh, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Also, give me a big thumbs up. Catch you next time.